morning everyone it's February 14 2009 I'm Dwight Schmuck this is the Schmuck look it's Valentine's Day folks a day of alleged love and joy and oh let's give candy and all the flowers and all the good stuff it's also a day for venting a spleen uh, you know, I tried to do this a little earlier, and apparently I screwed up, so if this comes across as the second one, sorry about that. I had forgotten to hit the stop sign, the stop click, and, you know, it went on, and then an unknown error occurred, and as I tried to upload, we'll check it out later. At any rate, I've got a little spleen vending to do. First and foremost is the $1.5 trillion, that is trillion dollar, package that the Treasury Department proposed this week, you know, one and a half trillion folks, and, you know, it was, like, buried in the story, and I went to that story, and I had to go to another one, and da-da-da-da-da, but in order to find out about this proposal, it took, like, three, four clicks, and, oh, probably 45 minutes or so, you know, 1.5 trillion, it seems that the business owners and the bankers why they just can't afford anything more if we don't give them everything you know guys if you can't afford it you probably shouldn't have bought it and you know I've only got just a tiny little wad you've already blown a big one you can't have mine you can't own the world it will be here long after you're dead and by my lights, that's not soon enough, unless, of course, it was the day before yesterday. Second, I watched Bill Morrow and Larry King. And, you know, <laughs> Bill, the line about Michael Phelps marinating himself in chlorine for eight years, <laughs> that was a good line. You know, you also said it would be very refreshing if somebody stood up and said, you know, yes, I did it. I'm not sorry. Well, I did that last summer. And I also told the state's attorney I wasn't even going to quit. And you know what? Why, well, he dropped my fine 50 bucks. Gee golly, guess honesty does pay a little bit. Third, and, you know, Valentine's Day is on the 14th of February. And 14 is a magic number if you are an unwed mother in California. And I'm going to try to attach this to the AP story about this l woman has received death threats. There are all kinds of threats. The police are investigating and there's been hundreds of angry phone calls. Gee, do you think, lady? I mean, you got 14 kids. You just had eight of them. Why, that's one heck of a big litter. The Department of Agriculture has estimated that, you know, to raise these children through the age of 17, now that means that the day they hit 18, you're cut off is going to cost the taxpayers something like 2.7 million. Now this does not include realistically emergency trips to the hospital, all those good things. Now, again, she's unwed and unjobbed, but she plans to go back to school to get her master's degree in therapy. And you know, being the schmuck I am, I'm just wondering what kind of therapy is it? Mental therapy, physical therapy, I'm thinking maybe it's sex therapy to you, darling. Happy VD. You know, you claim that it ain't welfare. It's assistance. You know, sweetie, we're not against giving anybody a hand up, but we are against giving a Myrtle the Fertile Turtle who's got 14 kids this huge handout. Now, according to the story, she spends all her time with her children. Well, gee, no kidding. Let's see, eight babies. What are babies? They are crap producing machines. So she's spending a whole lot of time changing diapers. Now, I'm betting those are disposable diapers, which of course, you know, because, you know, there's a big plastic input in them, which plastic comes from oil. Yeah, you're getting my drift here, folks. It's February 14, 2009. To all, to all but one, I wish a great and happy Valentine's Day. And you, Myrtle, happy VD. I'm Dwight Schmuck. That's today's Schmuck Look. Peace, folks.